Hi, I'm uh, Tom, this is Space Engineers, and what you're looking at right now is Dazzle Camouflage. It was used in World War I extensively uh, on naval ships, not to conceal, but to confuse. Jarring changes in colour and pattern and so on uh, made it difficult for the enemy to accurately guess or, or to accurately calculate the position, distance and speed of the ship. And uh, those things are vital, not just in shooting at the ship, but in deciding where to sort of direct your own ship to cut them off or, or to get in positions to use your weapons on them. Um, so what I've done is I've taken one of the spawning ships, uh, one of the ships you start with on the easy start setting, and uh, I've recoloured it twice. This first one here, which you're looking at now, I've uh, focused on changing the colours, trying to create sort of jarring, sort of different colours and shadings and so on. I've also done a different one where I've focused more on the um, patterns. So I'm only using sort of three colours, black, white and the grey. But again the idea is to create jarring patterns that make it difficult to, to tell which bits of the, the ship sort of stand out and which bits are, are layered. Uh, that's them up close. Um, so let's take a look see how it works from a distance. Alright, so I've moved back. We've got the original ship uh, coloration on the bottom. We've got the coloured and patterned ships just above it. And at the top there, I've also put a camouflage ship just to compare with with these uh, the Dazzle camouflages. Uh, from this distance, I think, the coloured and patterned ships are harder to, to sort of make out. You can see the general outline of them, but it's, it's very difficult to tell which parts are raised and lowered, especially on the coloured ship. Um, it, essentially, this gives it a sort of flat effect to it, and it makes it hard to tell which bits are maybe targets. It's also worth noting that with six degrees of freedom, you're not always going to see the ships flat on like this. You'll come at them from different angles and even from different rotations. Now, if we rotate at a different angle, the coloured ships than the pattern ship, they they make it harder to tell which end is the front and which end is the back. So you can't really tell which way it's going to go when they start flying. Now, that is very important. You need to know that if you're planning on cutting them off or attacking them. Um, and that kind of like little advantage might be very very helpful in a combat situation where you need any kind of advantage you can get. Um, so let's let's zoom in a little bit and uh, take a closer look. See what we think. So as we get closer, even from this sort of distance, it's quite hard to tell on the pattern ships and the coloured ship, um, the dazzle camouflage ships, which which parts of them are raised and lowered and so on, it's hard to tell relief. You can make it out, but you have to concentrate quite a lot and look quite carefully to spot it. Um, bearing in mind that it's one thing us sort of doing this sitting here now, and it's quite another when you're flying at them in a fighter, being shot at, they're moving, you're moving, it's going to be a lot more confusing, and that time you need to make out where the engines are, where are the sort of the hangar, where's the armour weak, that kind of, you know, spotting you can't really do as effectively against it and that's something that I think in a combat situation could be very useful. It's also worth noting that at this kind of range and even when we were back there the camouflage one at the top it's still quite visible and once it loses the effect of its camouflage from a large range it, it the camouflage doesn't actually add anything to it whereas these two uh, here are still quite served well by their camouflage um, of course, it's, they're not always going to be stationary, they're going to be moving as well, so let's see if we can't take a look at, at how they look when they're moving. Okay, so we've got the ship moving, we're not in it obviously. Um, and again, the sort of the patterns make it a bit more difficult to, to kind of spot exactly what's going on with it. It's not as good as it could be maybe, but it certainly... Uh, speed up past it. It certainly does have an effect, it adds to it, it makes it a bit more difficult to, to correctly guess the speed. It was going at about 25 metres a second there, um, just for information's sake. So here's a, a movement test of the second camouflage, the coloured one. Um, again, those patterns, they do make it quite difficult to gauge the speed. I mean, I'm perfectly stationary here and that's travelling about 40 metres a second but it, uh, it just adds a little bit to the ship and it just makes it a little bit harder to, to accurately get those numbers really. Okay, uh, so that's the uh, the Razzle Dazzle camouflage. Um, cons, it's easy to spot, very easy to spot from a distance because it stands out so much. Um, it's not designed to 
hide you from the enemy it's designed to make it you know to make targeting and identifying you more difficult um i guess if you're a bit sensitive about how your ship looks it might be a con that it looks completely bizarre and ridiculous especially the one on the left there the, the colored one um but again that's down to personal taste uh, as for the pros like i say it potentially makes targeting and identifying your ships more difficult another pro is it draws attention it draws a lot of attention and that may be um you know you may be wondering why that's a pro and i'll come back to that in a minute but personally i wouldn't use this camouflage for small or solo ships if i was on my own i wouldn't use it but if i was in a fleet i'd use it to draw attention to sort of the tanking ships the ships with the biggest armor the ones that are not as crucial ones that we don't care about losing as much or care about being damaged i'd paint them as brightly as i could and try and camouflage the rest in the hopes that it draws more attention to that ship and makes it stand out more um, likewise if you've got quite a colorful ship and it draws the attention i mean like in the bottom left of the screen there's a there's a small a small ship that i've painted black um just down there and it's it's not that noticeable when, when you've got such a big colorful object in front of you it's, it's quite easy to spot the little things and and hopefully that's something that you could uh, sort of capitalize on so overall i think it could have a place uh, sort of dazzle camouflage could have a place in space engineers but it wouldn't be for a solo play it would be for a group of players working together and even then it would have to be something they think about carefully okay that's about it for this video that's the uh the camouflage here please leave a comment below let me know what you thought of the the camouflage whether it worked whether it didn't work any ways you can think of improving it any other pros and cons i might have missed out and uh, remember to like the video if you liked it as well um, i do appreciate feedback so thank you very much for watching and goodbye